Hello viewers, in one of my previous videos I had showed a bag of some older flip cell phones and at least one person said they were interested in seeing it so I've got these phones out here, we're going to try to do a video on these and that, sure if we can get any to work, I believe this one works this one would be the most interesting to me I took a lot of the batteries out of these a while ago for safety reasons this is the Motorola Telephone model NTV171P4 and I'm not sure how old this is but it's definitely on the older end of the spectrum this is probably a product of the 2000's maybe the antenna is not retractable so I guess it can't be that old let's see here is this the battery for it? it's not looking like it Maybe this is. Okay. Looks like it fits. I'm sure this is long, long out of charge. This is a Motorola charger, and it is. Let's see how many volts is it? It's the 5 volts, which I think. Well. It's clearly not the correct one because the cord isn't plug isn't right. Uh, what's this one? 12 volts. That's going to be too high. This one is 5 volts output, and that seems like it would be correct. Don't fit though. Yeah. See, this is going to be the problem with these. Is I, I don't. I'm not going to have a way to charge these up and use them. Uh, because I don't have the power cords I can try and look through my big bag of my big box of, of um, cords and try to find the power cord for it I don't know if we'll have one that'll fit maybe I will let's see if I can find a tip that'll fit Well, if I don't throw them all on the floor, I'll have a better chance of finding one. This one looks like it could fit. Oh, that's too big. That's too big, that's too big. Too big. They're all too big. Alright. This has got to be some weird size because I have a whole bunch of... Uh, a whole bunch of these. Uh, adapters for the car and they're all this size so this must be a standard size but it don't fit it, it I almost wonder if this if this plug is broke or something because nothing's fitting in there and I don't understand I mean yeah it's just not it's not looking good for this because I can't find a uh, an adapter that's going to fit. Okay, I think this one will fit if I jam it in there. Yeah, it's, it's very snug, but it did fit. So now the question becomes, what do I power it with? This is a 5 volts at 550 milliamps. I tend to think that this is the adapter that it would want. Um, let's see, this one is is of the same specs. So I think we're going to take one of these and try to make it work with this. It's going to be our best chance here. So I'm going to cut this off and connect it to my uh, little contraption here to, to plug it. Ah, oh, jeez. This is inverted. I need the other side. I know I have the other side of the somewhere. Well, let me see if I can find it. Because this isn't the first time I've wanted that thing and haven't been able to find it. Nope, I was recalling incorrectly. I thought this was like a separate piece, but it's not. So this is the only one I ever had. So I'm going to have to... Well, in that case, there's no advantage to that, really, because I have to... Just kind of bring it up to the... Ugh, this is going to be a nuisance. And <laughs> it probably won't even work. 
we've got a 50-50 chance because I don't know what the polarity is supposed to be. So we could guess correctly or not. Or the whole phone could not even work. I don't know. Uh, the phone may not even work. But I'm going to give it a shot because this is the only phone in the whole group here that I'm really interested in. So I'm going to go through and do this video. I'd like to get that one to work. Because that one is interesting to me. Okay, that did not at all do what I wanted it to do, so we're just going to start over again. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and wrap this around one side. And then I'm going to take the other, and maybe I can kind of close it up like this. Actually, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is kind of going to be making a good connection. It's not a correct connection, but it'll work. Okay. Well, this certainly invites accidents, but I think it'll work just fine for for this case. Maybe what I'll do is I'll um, just to show an extra measure of safety. I will. Um, Put a little tie wrap down here just to hold it in place so we can't kind of come undone. Let's put some wire tie around this here. Okay. I think that shall work. It's super flaky. But I think it'll work. I'm not sure if it'll work well, but it doesn't have to, it just has to work. Now, we could have the wrong polarity, so if this doesn't come on right away, well, it could be two things. It could be that the battery is dead, and there's the tripod kick for this video. It could be that the battery is dead, or it could be that the polarity is wrong. Doesn't seem like anything's happening. Let's try switching the polarity around. Okay, the polarity has been switched. Let's try it again. Ah, here we go. It's working. We have an indicator light. So let's see if it'll turn on now.
may want some charge in the battery first. Wonder if it could work without the battery. The indicator light's kind of going weird. I'm going to put the battery back in and we'll let it set for a little. Oh, oh, was it? Did it do something? I thought I saw the screen light up. It may just need some time to charge up. That's very possible. Charging battery. Now this is probably not going to get a reception anymore. I don't know how, what, uh, I don't know what um, kind of network this operates on. Well, if it's CDMA, then it probably still works because, as far as I know, it the CDMA network does in fact still work. I don't even know how to put a SIM card in one of these things. I don't really do cell phones that much. I think it's going to go in. Well, it's got to go in maybe like that. Yeah, there we go. That works. If that does any good, I'm not sure. Okay, charging the battery. Okay, so now it's at least letting us get to the menu so we can use the thing. Uh, the time might as well be. Uh, oh, geez, you have to actually press it like this? Good grief. It's 409, sure. This is very hard to use because the buttons are so small. It's got 2010 in there. This has got to be older than 2010. Searching. Let's see if it finds anything. No service. So, that could mean that this is like, um, I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't work. Who knows? I have no idea. Let's see if there's anything in the phone book. Yeah, there is stuff in the phone book. Two entries. Okay. Let's see, is there any messages in here? That was received on 2010. So 2010 may have been the last time that this was used. 2010. 2010. So 2010 is probably the last time that this phone was used. Um, let's see what we have here. Oh, look at the recent calls here. Received calls. Doesn't appear to have. Oh, yeah, it does have. Yeah, they're all from 2010. Two thousand nine is as far back as the record goes. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> one, one, one in the notepad. And I think we can delete that. We don't need that. I don't know what that what that is. Call times. Two hundred hours, fifty eight minutes, ten seconds probably. No, 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 no. I don't want to reset nothing. So this wasn't used all that much. The last call was six minutes. Okay. Okay. So what's the difference between a uh, a loud ring and a quiet soft ring? It's got a lot of good selections. Vibrate, vibrate, and ring, vibrate, then ring, silent. I would like a ring, then vibrate selection. Okay, so here's a soft ring. Let's see. Is it the same tones? does seem to be a different tone, I think. Uh, uh, where were we? Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a different tone. Okay. I'll go through a video just for these rings. So what if I'm on here? Appears to be the same. I don't hear any keys, tones being sounded. 298 kilobytes. So if we change it to soft ring, do we get a whole different selection of, of tones? doesn't sound like it, so I don't quite understand that difference, uh, the difference between a loud ring and a soft ring. I don't quite understand that at all. Okay. The battery's charging up fast. I can tell you this thing's getting hot. I don't like that at all.
Which that is not success. Probably because it can't interface with the network. That probably needs a uh, network interface to make that change. Grab. Okay. Shortcuts. No idea what these animations look like. What is that? I can't even tell. Is it a dog? I, I like dogs. We'll go with that. It's so always easier for me to see it that way. I don't know what kind of network this phone would use because uh, we're also in the basement here so it's possible that that uh, just add a signal or it could be you know no longer available This has got a lot of settings to it. I'm surprised it's this advanced. Not that this is like advanced, but there's a lot of options in here. Okay, we're going to play games on here. What is this? Well, for what it's worth, it's got a functional game on here. I can't imagine people would really sit there and do that, but... Well, compared to what people do today, I guess that's not all that outrageous. It would certainly pass the time in a waiting in a line or something. What is this? Okay. It's got a calculator, a stopping watch. What's two? Um, plus. Oops. Where's the plus? Select. 55. Oops. Very unintuitive that that doesn't make a selection. 55. Select. 57. So it calculates just fine. Oops.
Well, you know, for what it's worth, it's got a lot of different features in there. And it probably was a pretty decent phone back in the day. It's too bad it doesn't get no service anymore. Oh, it's just after 420. Okay, so that's that's cell phone number one. I'm going to keep this cell phone. It's kind of neat. I absolutely have no practical use for it, but it's kind of cool. No, I shouldn't have been talking just then because someone's going to say, Oh, I wanted to hear the, the startup and shutdown sequence. I'll do it again. Okay, so that's it for that phone. That phone works. Can't make calls no more, but it works. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's move on to the next phone. Uh, the next phone will be this one. This is another Motorola's phone. And it is the model number... I don't know. Couldn't tell you what the model number is because I don't know. It's a track phone, so that's about all I can tell you. I think this is the battery for it. And this phone seems to be pretty cheap. Like, super, super cheap. It's also gross. Alright, I think... Is this is the charge? Yeah, it looks like this is the charge, so... Plug this other charge in here. Other charge is heating up. Okay, that's plugged in. This phone is disgusting. Like, what the heck? How do you, like, type the numbers and not notice that there's a whole lot of filth on there? <laughs> okay, well, we got an indicator light, so it's doing some. It may want some time for the battery to charge up, I don't know. Doesn't seem to want to come on. This one has a camera. Well, I'm going to plug this in and let it, let it go for a while and see what happens. So then we have this LG phone. Which is also, like, feels really cheap. It still has a battery in there. This is the LG model, I don't know, GPL, G440GB maybe. This also is the track phones, and there we have a date code of 2013. This one has similar kind of grossness as the other one does. It still isn't doing anything. Alright, so this one, the power cord, I think it might be the same one. It is. And then I think this one is, uh, is it also the same one? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, this one is saying, please wait. So maybe something is happening. While we're waiting, I'll try to get the screen cleaned up a bit so we can see it a little better. Apparently this one still has a charge. Oh 
Okay, we got an individual on there. I don't know who that is. Entering service area. This is a 3G CDMA phone. And oh, would you look at that? It still has a signal. We are, it, today is uh, June 18th, 2021. And look at that. Three pippers of the supposedly discontinued CDMA network from Verzian. That, that infuriates me because I could have still been using the old phone at this point. Outrageous. Really still agitated by that because that wasn't right. Okay, this one's saying charging now, so we'll just let that sit for some time and charge up. This one is relatively new. If I recall correctly, this is only discontinued from service maybe a year ago. It did not come from the same individuals that the other one the same individual that the other ones did so I'm looking through the call log now it's got a number of quite a few calls in there in fact now let's see well we can try to make a call it's probably not going to go through but let's just see what happens Does this have a speaker phones? Whisper mode. Who's whispering? I don't know what that is. Okay, that looks like speaker phone to me. Oh, we got flashlights on here. I don't want the flashlights on. Ah, oh, there's the speaker phones button. Okay. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your mobile number is either not active or is invalid. For assistance, please contact your wireless service provider. Announcement 13-119-5. Did you hear how clear that was? This is in a basement. Underground basement. And it's still getting three pippers of the, the infamous CDMA network. It really is, is terribly unfortunate that they're getting rid of the CDMA network because it was so much better than what they have now. Okay, let's see here. I'm not really sure what else there is to show in here. I guess we can go through this and take a look at the menus. Please wait. Please say a command. Call a goose. All clear. Business. No entry stored. Do you want to call mobile one? No. Please say a command. Call 3664242. Calling 3664242. Oh, that actually worked pretty good. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your mobile number is either not active. Okay, so that seems to work. Let's see what we got. We got a calculator, tip calculator. Let's say the bill is fifty dollars. Oh, that's pretty cool. It shows you how many people are paying. Let's say uh, fourteen people are paying. Only cost four dollars a piece. That's useful. Calendar, alarm clock, start watch, world clock, notepads, USB mass storage, phone search. I don't know what this is. See if there was any messages. Yep, there's some messages in here.
Let's see when these calls were last made. It was on uh, February 20th, 2020. So, yeah, this was discontinued about a year ago, a little more than a year ago. Navigator, a powerful and easy to use navigation tool that uses GPS technology to tell you where you are, what's nearby, and to give you directions to where you need to go. VV Navigator provides easy to follow voice prompted directions right to your destination. Get it today. Nope. VV Navigator. Enough of the VZ Navigator. Like a VZ freak show. Here we go, CDMA network. What a freak show. I'll go through and play those in a separate video. There's a lot of pictures on here. I don't know who these people are. These are some funny man pictures. What is that? This can record videos? This is a test. Well, I'm sure the the resolution isn't that great, but that quality didn't seem all that terrible, in fact. Let's set that video as the wallpaper. Why not? Fake call, what is that? Fake contact info? So you could type your own caller ID, I guess. That's weird, I don't know what that is. Oh, 
with too much memory and you're only 224 megabytes. Hmm. Okay, so that seems like it uh, works just fine. And there's our video on the <laughs> on the uh, wallpaper there. All right, so that's interesting. That phone still works perfectly fine, but as is the case with a lot of these good phones, the usefulness is being negated because they're discontinuing the network. Right, let's see if this is ready to come on yet. Sim lock code one. Okay. Looks like it may have one pepper of signal. I don't know if it'll let me use it if I take the Sims card out, but I'll give it a try. Yes, we can't do anything without the SIM thing in there. I wonder if the SIMs card from this phone would work, because this one has seemed to be about the same size, I think. Yeah, it looks like it's the same size. Yeah, I think it is. Let's see if it'll work. Yeah, I'll unplug the charger to save energy. That's nice. I don't even believe that the battery is full. It did. Now it's got two pippers, or it had two pippers, and then they're gone. Maybe this Sims card doesn't work in here, I don't know. I don't want to press the emergency call because it does still have signal, so it's going to end up going through. This is probably a CDMA phone, 2013 it was well within the 3G CDMA range. Okay, so that, that Sims is locked. Let's try this other Sims.
Okay, so we're not going to be able to use this one. It's having too many SIM card freak shows. So that's it. Uh, we're done with this one. I'm not going to be able to use it, but this is not that old, so whatever. Let's see if this one is ready to work yet. Hmm. We'll let that sit for a while and see if it starts to work. Okay, this one made some noises, so I think it came up. It's like there's something on the strange screen. Eight hundred and sixty-four minutes. I think I know who that person is. Let's see if this will make a call. State TMF tones sound pretty weird. I don't think this is speakerphone. Call failed. Doesn't appear to have any pippers. The last call on this was made in 2015. It's made quite a few calls. Okay, let's see here. There's only three uh, contacts in there. Let's see if there was any messages. Nope. There's some quick notes. Oh, these are all just like preset things. My folder. What is that? Hold on. How is that 4D? It's 3D.
do you get to the camera? It does definitely have a camera. From radio. Insert the earpiece. I'm not doing that. Interesting. It's measured in kilobytes. Okay. Camera. It's got a terrible red tinge to it. This card. Where's the sound coming on the back? This card. It zooms in up to four X. Oh, here we go. Effect none. Not much better. Now it looks correct. Eh, that's not too bad, okay. Options, uh, store it only. Now, how do we retrieve? Oh, now it's going to take a video. Can't imagine much video fits if it only saves 14 pictures. How do you get to the stinking pictures? It's got games on here. Okay. Still would like to know how to get to the photographs. Are these the photographs? Here we go. I wouldn't really consider taking a photograph to be downloaded, but that's what it considers it. That looks like a finger to me. It was, that's great. What else do we got in here? Nice Christmas tree. I don't know who that is. I don't know what that is. That might have been a phone number, I think. No, I guess not. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay. So that's that. Um, I guess that works. Let's see if we have any rings on here. Hmm. 
Here's that loud versus quiet ring thing again. So there are quite a few rings on here. Well, I guess I'll record those rings again because this is an older phone. Maybe somebody will want to see those. Is it the same for the text messages? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Okay, well that seems to work, so we have three out of four usable phone, well, I said usable. This one, well even that one probably can't be activated no more. Well, definitely keep this one, because this one's kind of cool. Um, these other three, I really have no use for them. But anyway, so that was it. There's the four cell phones. This one's pretty cool. So, hopefully that was interesting to somebody.